finally the schematic of the long wave radio. It is here. Took some time to draw it. And when you are a little bit acquainted with uh, radio tech, you surely can see all the functional units. Here is the local oscillator built around the BC557B. This is the first stage, say the front end, and here is that band filter. It's here. And I will get in detail. Uh, here we have the mixer made with a BF199. It has in its collector lead a uh, coil filter of 455 kilo cycles. It's here. It has a white core and the type number is this. But you can also use an other uh, 455 kilo cycle filter from another brand. That's what I mean. Here is the field effect transistor connected to the secondary of the um, coil, the IF coil. Here is the ceramic filter. It's that yellow unit here. And then we have one stage of amplification. And here's the detection diode. It must be a germanium diode. And we have a few old families. Uh, from Europe, the OA types or the AA types, and the 1N90 is good, and the 1N60 is good. And here we have a potentiometer with which we can give the uh, diode a little bit of bias. This switch uh, has to do with the um, noise reduction, and here are the pins of all these transistors. This is perhaps interesting to show. This is the local oscillator and it has a capacitor on it uh, of 600 picofarad to 600 picofarad. And here are the coils and you can wind these coils yourself. And in fact it is not um, very difficult. You can use the schematic of the test oscillator. That's here. In fact, this test oscillator is the same as this local oscillator. So what is the procedure? Uh, at first make the local oscillator and uh, look for the uh, radio station that you want to receive. And I've made an example. And it's here. So this is the procedure. Make the local oscillator. I've showed the schematic and I will also give the schematic in the text box. Uh, choose the frequency of the local oscillator and this is only an example. I have now chosen BBC4. It's on 198 kilo cycles. And that you must subtract that from the IF frequency and then you know where your local oscillator has to work. That must work around 267 kilo cycles in this case. Uh, but of course there must be play, play uh, to the, um, the lower frequencies and play to the somewhat higher frequencies. And you can take 10 kilo cycles play and that, may, that means that for good tuning the local oscillator to receive BBC4 in Europe in this case on 198 kilo cycles with a local oscillator that works between these two frequencies. Um, and so uh, at first uh, make the local oscillator, it's here, use this uh, tuning capacitor it goes from um, 100 picofarad to 600 picofarad and then make the local oscillator coil. And here is an example. Ferrite rolled, 200 windings and I have uh, used here a capacitor, a parallel capacitor of um, 300 picofarad 
and with these 200 windings I have now a frequency of 165 uh, kilohertz and this is the waveform and it means uh, could mean that when I uh, need a, a, a local oscillator frequency in this band I must tune the uh, coil and these are say the principles less turns on the local oscillator coil means a higher frequency more turns a lower frequency a higher capacitor parallel capacitor a lower frequency and a smaller capacitor a higher frequency and this is in fact the situation this is the tuning cap of 100 to 600 picofarads and that's the trimmer cap and so I've searched out and with my oscilloscope and the frequency counter that's what you need for this uh, to make the local oscillator frequency counter sometimes it is combined with a scope um, and then you can say search for three coils or for one coil and that depends on say the radio frequency that you want to receive on long wave and now I see here for instance it is one six six kilo cycles when I uh, want to go to this frequency band you can surely see that that frequency is too low and that means in this case uh, take the windings off of the coil then connect it again to the oscillator as long as you uh, till you find the situation where uh, that coil and the tuning capacitor uh, works in this frequency band so in fact it's very simple it takes some time there are of course also other procedures you can for instance uh, try to find coils uh, factory made coils that work in this frequency range uh, with a ferrad core that you can move in and out also a possibility but this is also say um, it's not the easiest way but it surely works well let's go to the schematic again um, here it is again and I'm still not completely satisfied with the band filter at the input here you see how it was made it's a paper roll one centimeter in diameter and there are uh, there's a ferrite rod of six centimeters and there are 600 windings of 0 0.2 millimeter lacquered copper wire on the form the paper roll here's the front end BC547 um, this is the high frequency amplification it's very simple in fact you say give voltage to that first transistor the BC547B and it means that it starts to amplify much better this is the mixer two signals are entering the base of the mixer the BF199 one signal is out here out of the uh, first transistor the high frequency amplifier this is somewhat sloppy but I have uh, drawn it like I've made it you can for instance ask what has this 33 picofarad capacitor to do there when you have already a 1500 picofarad capacitor but anyway so here is uh, the signal of the first stage here the signal out of the local oscillator comes from the emitter goes via 120 picofarad also to the base of the mixer transistor and it is um, coupled to the field effect transistor it amplifies of course but there's also a very important thing and that is that the impedance on the gate of the the FET field effect transistor is extremely high and that means that you can 
um, say set that IF filter to a sharp uh, reception because the IF filter in general has a bandwidth in the order of 8 uh, kilo cycles up to 10 kilo cycles. And furthermore, there's not so much more to tell. This is all. Germanium diode is of course important. Uh, silicon diode uh, doesn't work good in general. The filter has an in and an out. I've mounted it this way. Here. And when you say you want to operate the radio, um, set your local oscillator to the frequency uh, with which you want to receive that long wave radio station. Um, set the mixer, the 22k potentiometer here, sets the mixing process and it's here. That silver thing in the middle of the screen. 22k, so that must be aligned. Very easy, no problem. You give the diode a small bias. Set for instance the potentiometer in the middle position. I've done that here. Of course. Um, set the Volume control to the max, maximum volume control potentiometer, and then the crux of the whole thing is the band filter. And I've demonstrated that a few times. Want to do that again? Switch out now the test oscillator, otherwise, you can hear it. One moment. Hey, what happens? Well, I've demonstrated it already, and I don't want to stop the video now, uh, because uh, I have no sound. Well, I have some sound. So, this is what I wanted to demonstrate. So that band filter, uh, the tuning is done by uh, moving the ferret rod in and out, that is slug tuning. Uh, when you are a little bit acquainted with radio you know that. The answer is an increasing awareness of the military and the society in some way, society going different ways, it's interesting. So that was all to tell. Thanks for watching. Show the schematic once again. I've also used an indoor antenna, by the way. It's now connected to an outdoor antenna hanging in my garden. You can also use an indoor antenna. Of course, the radio signal is then much weaker that you receive. Uh, also depends, of course, completely how close you are to the long wave transmitter. When it is, say, 50 kilometers or so, that will surely work good. Um, well, I think that was all. I have 15 minutes on my camera. Hope it was a little bit clear. And well, let's listen again. That's why, and again, we can make it mentioned economics before, but of course, economic warfare, very big during World War II, but much more likely to be sanctioned in terms of combination of sanctions, coercive tactics. That's very much where Chinese technology, which is, you know, very, very high level, 